What is going on everyone? Welcome back to Sublime Artifacts. Today is a special day because today I am happy to announce that we have a giveaway as we are into pursuit to reach 2,000 subscribers. So stay tuned at the end of this episode to learn more on how to participate. But before we start the review of this uncanny statue, I hope you guys enjoyed the intro covered by my brother. Share some love by subscribing to his channel, The Ultimate Heroes. You got so many punk rock and acoustic cover of your favorite Filipino songs and Hollywood musics to listen to. Click the notification bell, like, and share. That way you are up to date and not miss my brother's punk rock covers, The Ultimate Heroes. And now, without further ado, let's get to this sublime masterpiece. As always, this art box looks awesome. This X on one side of the box, and of course, we have cable on the opposite side of it. One big box, guys. This collector's edition comes with 13 pieces, including the extra brick and mixed media poncho. While the exclusive edition comes with 15 pieces, my apology to everyone because the piece that I acquired is not the exclusive edition one. The exclusive edition includes one switch out portal with Deadpool's hand sticking out, holding a plush or doll of himself wearing a necklace with a broken heart pendant. Let's get down with the base. This edition size is 723 of 2,000 pieces created. The concept of the base is Professor Xavier's is cool for the gifted or mutants. As you can see, a melted Xavier is cool sign. There's a couple of Easter eggs on the base. You have Wolverine cows, Professor X Cerebro helmet. And if you guys haven't seen my 1-4 scale review with Wolverine, go ahead and check this out. One thing I've noticed here is this cool sign guys. This cut looks like it's been cut by a laser beam. My guess here is Sentinels or Cyclops blasted that sign and cut it into half. What do you guys think? And that's about it with the base guys. Uh, this cool is destroyed, Professor X Cerebro helmet and Wolverine's cowl on the ground. Who knows what happened to them. Bricks and building beams are damaged. Cable might have been too late. From the looks of this post, I think someone is going to get it. Let's move up with Cable's boots. The right foot has a peg and rod that fits in this hole. Scaff marks, battle damage, and weathering look. You'll see the X symbol on both sides of the boot. It does not look futuristic enough because if you can see on the back, it looks like you just need to latch it up after you put it on and go on and save the world. It still looks nice and comfortable though. On his thighs, grenade straps on both of his legs. Pouches filled with ammos. I think this right here is some type of grenade guys. Correct me if I'm wrong. Around his waist, he got his utility belt, more ammunition guys, he got his cool X buckle right here and who knows what this buckle does. And on the back is his awesome behind. Moving up with his torso, more ammunition, you'll see his chest harness with pouches and ammos. And right here you can see his abs and external oblique or rib cage on the side, his chest and the X marks on the harness. His torso is very tight, real solid guys. Check out the shoulder pads, more ammos or grenades. He is like a walking ammunition locker. This shoulder pads will definitely protect your shoulders. Let's get to his right arms. He's flexing his right arms, guys. This tells you, you don't want to mess with me who suffered consequences. Now I go back to the past. Now I do the same thing over and over again. 
he doesn't sound like that but if he does go hide to your mama's house he got some uh, bandage wrap on his hands leather looking gloves with knuckle support and to his left arm it's cybernetic looks amazing Ooh, this reminds me of Colossus uh, metallic body structure guys look at that right it looks pretty much the same uh, he gets a he got a leather gloves uh, strap underneath the glove you know to support his uh, metallic arm I don't know why he needs that um, maybe to match the uh, right gloves you know uh, he got the metal knuckle right there to support that uh, hand gun metal finish on this weapon of destruction very futuristic and looks really heavy you'll see scratches scuff marks and battle damage this bfg looking gun that he's carrying on his right uh, tells me that with this cybernetic arm he can carry anything he can carry heavy massive guns or weapons like this one bazookas tanks who knows that might be the story behind this concept you know I got my cybernetic arm right here I can carry tanks yeah and if you don't know what BFG stands for play Dune and you'll see what I'm talking about really good game too now let's switch to the weapon he's holding on his right uh, it's smaller compared to the left one gunmetal in color uh, very futuristic I don't know where the magazines go maybe it's solar and shoots laser this statue comes with one portrait and to me it looks small not too small guys just small uh, he got that nice five o'clock shadow his white hair uh, his left techno organic eye then he got the three scars across his right eye and on his left ear is his headgear or the uh, communicating device pretty cool looks nice uh, it's almost perfect but to me like I said uh, the head scalp is just look a bit small all right guys let's talk about this uh, mixed media so this mixed media his poncho is posable so a lot of people was having a hard time you know like creating the pose on how they're gonna do it so it really uh, requires patience so what I have right now I posed it to where like you know the wind is blowing that way so you can pose this uh, mixed media where it's just dripping down uh, or wind from that way and it's blowing on this side but uh, when I was trying to uh, think on how I'm gonna do it I think this one is the best one you can pose a uh, cable without the poncho there's really a lot of options here there's really a lot of options guys so whether you have the exclusive one or you just have the uh, uh, collectors uh, edition uh, cable so you can pose him without the poncho right and then on his back you got you guys see the the portals there's three portals here right so ask why there's three portals here uh, I don't know either but from the looks of it uh, I think it's dissipating or disappearing I mean if there's one big portal behind him right I'm pretty sure you will pay extra for the shipping hmm what do you guys think so with these three portals right you get the option to just take them out uh, the only downside with that is if you take out this portal right here on the back of his uh, uh, big gun uh, you will see an opening right here if you look to his left it's gonna look awkward right it looks really uh, there's something missing you know if you're looking from the left 
uh, same thing with this uh, left uh, boot so there's gonna be an opening so uh, in my case I have to attach them right uh, and it looks a lot cooler with these portals let's talk about a little bit with the exclusive edition so the exclusive edition uh, you have that uh, portals right here with Deadpool's hand sticking out holding a plush of himself now with that plush it has a uh, uh, necklace with the uh, half uh, heart pendant so that looks nice uh, but unfortunately I don't have the uh, exclusive edition so my apologies to everyone but yes so so many options to how to post this so you can post the exclusive edition if you have the exclusive edition you can post it but my, uh, what I have right now I don't have it uh, but I can just take this off right here right and then put the brick uh, but I'd rather have this one rather than the brick so uh, for me this one is a lot cooler it gives more presence stories uh, within this, uh, the pose uh, that Cable is showing or sideshow rather uh, showing to uh, everyone right so my opinion with this portals again I think it's dissipating it's disappearing because he's out and that's why it's like this if you want to have uh, in your mind if you want to suggest oh you should have been like a big one uh, think again mm -hmm. Uh, your shipping yeah definitely is gonna be a lot more all right now with the color the color looks amazing one thing that reminds me with his color uh, is the store IKEA guys right am I right but overall sideshow did a really good job with the paint uh, yep very comical uh, yeah looks awesome he looks great guys I really love it yeah and with his measurements his height is 24.5 inches width 17 inches depth 14 inches weight 12 pounds materials he's made of poly resin and some fabric manufactured by Satcho cable guys a little bit of uh history about him you know the dude with the metal arm robotic eye and giant gun with telepathic and telekinetic abilities that travels through portals from the future his real name is Nathan Summers uh, debut 1990 uh, New Mutants number 87 Cable's techno-organic left arm and shoulder afford him enhanced strength and durability and temporarily house him a uh, time travel device his techno organic right eye can also see in the infrared portion of the spectrum the circumstances of his birth uh, were orchestrated by a mad geneticist named mr. sinister who had created cable's mother Madeline uh, Pryor, a uh, clone of Jean Grey sinister then had prior to do Cyclops his dad Scott Summers in order to conceive a child that he believed would be a phenomenally powerful mutant to defeat Apocalypse, the first mutant. Sinister planned to use Nathan to exact revenge against his former master, Apocalypse, uh, but Apocalypse learned of, of this plan and had Nathan kidnapped. Apocalypse then infected Nathan with the deadly techno-organic virus to see if he would make a worthy host hoping to use a powerful mutant's body for his own yep here you go guys cable and his history my opinion with this statue uh, it shows a lot of presence uh, the Easter eggs on the base his arsenal portals you know uh, poncho uh, yeah guys I will give this 9 out of 10 sublime it's really nice a big piece you know uh, I love it and now first of all I would like to thank God 
for all the blessings. Sublime artifacts was built from nothing and grew to something. The encouragement from everyone keeps me motivated and excited in doing this channel. My family, my wife, my kids, Faith and Sam, and to you guys. Thank you so much and as a token of my appreciation, Sublime Artifacts is giving away a statue. Wait, two statues? Thank you so much to everyone for all the non-stop support. How to join the giveaway you ask? Click the description down below and follow the instructions. You could be the winner of these statues. I am Iron Man once we hit 2,000 subscribers and Spider Gwen when we hit 3,000 subscribers. Stay tuned. And that is all everyone. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell, like and share and comment down below. Sublime Artifacts, unleash your inner geek. Peace.